Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus. This is episode five of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio. We are just crushing it in terms of, uh, well, in terms of all the ores, but also in terms of this this tutorial. I'm having a lot of fun just in this early uh, part of the base, and I think that's something we have to remember when playing Factorio. You have to have fun in the early game because the early game is such a short period. And the mid game is so long, especially in Angels mods, the mid game is like incredibly long. So what I want to uh, focus on that we should be building today is actually start continue working towards our basic electronic boards. Basic electronic board is very much the essential thing. Now what we have done already is one half of this one because we have the common. We do not have the solder, so that's the one we are going to take a look at today. What I did um, in preparation, I went out and cleared some uh, cleared some trees. I think that was a necessary good move. Okay, this one, I unfortunately think this has to be another round of wood coming in. Because if I look at... Where is it? Solder, here. No. This is solder. Let You know what? Let's start by the solder. We take this one. And that goes into... Oop, oop. Ah, I do not like the fact that they decide that they want to take... S that is a shitty autofill function. Using my beloved small power poles for this. Look, don't take that. Don't take my power poles. I need them. Now you go in here. You hide, my friends. You hide. You're my friends. Ha! Okay, so this one. How long does it take? It, it takes seven, so I get one and a half per second. And these are crafting speed one, so I get one and a half per second. That's actually quite a lot. Uh, and if I just move on from this one and say... What is... That's going to go into the solder. There are other ways of doing this. That one takes four per second. Can that be built in these small ones? Yes, it can. So. You are taking four per second. And you are producing one and a half per second. So let's call it something like this, right? And this one, however, also needs one more thing, and that's the resin. And then it will output eight solder plates per four seconds. That's actually that's actually going to be a bit tough to get out here, isn't it? If we look at it. Hmm. This is the output. And I guess I then have to do something a bit silly here with the input. Or maybe I... Do I? Yes. I do. Hmm. Like this. Here. Oh, I don't have those anymore because they keep getting stolen. There. I think this is going to be fine. And these ones are and going inbound. This one, however, is going to be the problematic one. Because this one takes every once, every two seconds, it needs one resin. And I will... This one can't make resin, can it? Nope, I thought, didn't think so. This one can make resin. However, resin is a horrible product. It can be made uh, later on through chemistry, but in this case, it takes five seconds and five wood for a single resin. And this is at half speed. So this one takes 10 seconds of actual game time to create one. So if this one uses every one every two seconds, and this one produces one every 10 seconds, then I need five of these for every one of those. That's a bit crazy, actually. Which means all of this has nothing really to do about building this one up, but way more to do with building up the resin production. Which again, this is going to be something we can burn. 
for burning we always take coke coke is the most efficient or it's easy to produce and it has a good fuel value there so you can get some fuel in actually i'll just pause it a bit because i'm not actually sure this is how i want it because what's the whole point of building all of this if If I need 10 of these bad boys here. Yeah, like this. This will be resin. I think the resin is here. This is a crazy item. Let's build some more. Nope. Already, oh, really? We, we didn't build the iron. Did you see that I just popped into the map view? That's my... Uh, C block habits that are starting to king and just oh need stuff jump into the map view but instead alas i have to rush all the way down here well actually you can just yum 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 from the belt but we can also get a few more there we go so i definitely have a lot of crafting potential or crafting materials rush go on the walking path that's what they're there for and build some more of these do, 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 do. I don't like that this close. You are here, resin. Ding, ding, ding. And we get some lights. And we get some. This one's going to be like this. And the other ones. And at this point, I just take a blueprint of it because this is basically blueprints. So this is eight, 12. There we go. This is absurd amount. All of this, just keep going on this one. We are continuing to get some more smelting done here. There we go. Okay, this is pretty good. Whoops, resin. I don't want resin on the bus. So these ones, this is 20. 20 corresponds to what? Uh, Just consider. Right? Boom, four of them. And that means at this is location. I guess a solar plate. And no, you don't. You're not going to get my beloved power poles as fuel you gotta get your own damn fuel this one Up here underneath the switch 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 yes sweet this one let's see if it works this one has to be a mixed belt do we like mixed belts sometimes we do like mixed belts in this case i think that's fine and this is exactly the reason why I wanted these two next to each other. Oh, I have run out of these. And there's one good way of making this. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe there's more, but this is by far my favorite way of making it. It's very, very crisp, very clean, very efficient. Doesn't take much space, and it works. Most importantly, it works. All right, so... Let's get these things in here. Uh, this one also needs some wood inbound. The wood is right here. This is the last one it needs to go into, if I recall correctly.
Okay, let's see. This one is... Where is this one going to be? I actually want this one next to the lead and tin because it's kind of related. It's a composite of those two. Yeah, nice. But solder, sweet. All right, let's see. I'm not getting anything outbound. Why not? Okay, they're working. They're just shoveling things in, taking forever. Wow. Not a single one is outbound. Oh, and that one is not even existing. It's about a few more. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see here. Uh, sorry, that was my timer. I'd forgotten to set the timer, so I just need to make figure out how what the timer should be set to, so we don't actually run in into a two-hour episode. Look, this might be doing stuff, isn't it? It's doing stuff. Why are they not doing stuff? Oh, there we go. Stuff, stuff outbound. Yes, indeed. Okay, they can't grab it when it's walking on the belt. It has to stand still before it can walk. Is that's a mistake because they can take it from here, right? Yes, yeah. Here, here, here. I think they can grab it when they're coming towards them. Let's see. Yes, they can. Excellent. Works. All of these, and it's not actually a full belt. I actually had hoped that it would be closer to a full belt, actually, but eh, whatever. The resin. Should I also get the resin somewhere? But no, not really. I can't imagine resin being needed for something. And now it's time to get over to the next area. Let's put some icons on this. This one is solder plates. Boom. Now, the next one is going to be a bit more tricky. Because I think I want to build the rest in one go. So I need the basic electronic boards. As you can see here, it requires five basic electronic components. Which is pretty significant. But this one is also producing five. So every two seconds. And this one is consuming five per one second. So here again, it's a matter of these ratios. There's no point at all to put these on a bus. Because it's going to be always constraining the belt. It has to be... Directly inserted every single every single time. Always, always, always. Might even do this one just to make sure they can keep up. That's one option. This one though is gonna have another other problems. It's we're gonna require two more things in, not in very big quantities, but it's also gonna get stuff out. Basically, two things in, one thing out. Like this. In and out. This is totally not needed. What could then be done is... No, I can't have anything on the side. Because... Right, so... You... There. We could have something here that these ones are consuming. They are consuming, so this one's going to be carbon. Carbon on this one, mixed on this one. They're going in here, these guys. So you're going to get tin copper wire. Let's have a look at what the tin copper wire looks like. How much tin copper wire? You're just going to get one tin copper wire every two seconds. That is certain enough here. And that's his... I guess this is another way of doing it. So we could make a mix belt here of tin and lead. Because this one creates two for one. This one takes creates three for one. So that is pretty easy. Like this. Oh, like this actually. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's actually rather convenient. Let's see. The lead is on this one. The coal, the copper is on this one. This one requires that one. We get it from here. And it also requires carbon comes on this one. This one requires the basic circuits and solder coming on this one and that one going out. Excellent. Let's put some lights here and there just to signal that we know it needs to be lighted up. That's remarkable, isn't it? I do. I have built this a lot of times, so maybe it's not that remarkable after all. There. All right, let's start by killing this one because it's in a bad position. But as long as the Nanobots have gotten a mark, they will complete it. Do this one. I think that's going to be a fine place to place to put it. And that was advanced something, something, something. And I'm going to take the next advanced one because this is basically something we're going to be working on in the not too distant future, but we need the science. That's something we really need. And we are now going to move on with all of these things here. Do I still have a lot of belts? Yes, I still have a lot of belts. These ones are needed. And that one is needed. The lead is not needed, but let's bring it along anyway. I want to be consistent. I guess I should be consistently making more underground belts quite soon. These are not needed. These are needed. And so much for consistency. I just noticed that it would take a hell of a long time to get everything up and running. We do need, however, some... See, this is not keeping up. Let's have a look. This one we built just now. It's just impossible for it to keep up. That's such a shame. Um, but that's what it is. Okay, so here I'm going to have, let's see. this and hmm. that works actually really well Bring up here this one will be carbon and of course I'm going to build give it a bit bigger than it is here and that one That's the carbon. And next one is also a mix belt. This will be partly the basic circuit board and partly the solder. Again, something that is totally doable. There. This is the solder. Here, this one. Uh, oh, I lost track. There you go. Oh, I have some resin. Can I just shift C? No, oh, too far away. Shift C. Let's see. Yep, yeah, I got the resin in there. Perfect. Let's see if the things are coming in, then I will, if it works, I'll be copying this one. Like this. Well, you know what, I'm going to be copying it no matter if it works or not. Look at this nice tiling. These ones are producing something every one second. One second is not very much. However, we are now getting the one thing that is usually holding us up during most of our build process, this one. Yay, happy. 
However, no point in bringing it out because we still need to figure out how many we want of these. My take on it is eight. And what are we missing? We are missing iron. Hmm, what a trivial thing to miss. And yes, it's. I know that I probably should have somewhere that I pre create iron gears. And I do have that, except it's pretty damn far away. That one's fine, and we just keep building these. And, oh, more importantly, we're gonna build a hell of a lot of those. Is that it? Yes, this is it. And what else do we have? Let's build a few. Let's go with this one. Now the most important part. Is there room to switch it from outside to inside lane? Yes. One, two, Three, four. Get those out of the way, that one out of the way, this guy's out of the way. There we go. Come on, nanobots, you do your work. It could be faster. Nano? Yeah, okay, red and green, and that depends on engines. Hmm, okay, well, that's a motivation to get engines, for sure. Nanobots are still operational. Yes. And that's the whole damn thing. Nice. So that's the that's one, two, three, four at this moment. There. Being on this side. That one. You know, just see. What? That one goes in here. Cool. This one goes down on the next belt. It's actually not that bad. It didn't take that long time. Maybe that's is <clears throat> Oh. Okay, this is not a problem. Like this. And the great thing about this is now, if I take one of these and try to build, see, I can remake the burn inserter. I can somehow also make the filter inserter. But if I now instead go up here and take one of these, and they are easy to make because I just grab them from this overfilled belt. Look at this. Look how wonderful it is. These ones will then be able to make inserters and that is my trigger in order for me to say now is the time for me to build science because by having this one then I can build the yellow the green science and I don't feel that there's a point to building something if unless I can build it correctly. So now we have plenty of this there's also quite a big drain and that's uh, going to be taken out on the wood or the lack of wood. Uh, this one, is, the copper is not doing very well. I mean, this is also kind of an important aspect to it. It's it's very, very simple to end up scaling scaling up. Suddenly you're just taking way too much. Look at this, now this is actually almost a full belt. Doesn't solve another problem. And that problem is the fact that I do not have enough materials. There. They are easily able to put it in, but outbound, nope, no thank you. And I'm gonna need, so that means now I can start working on the green science. Yes, that is what we needed because we can't even make all these basic electro electric calls without science, without green science. What is, is green science constrained? Let's have a look at the green science. Oh yeah, uh, internal capacity, very important. Loaders, ha ha. Very, very nice. And then also a lot of other things, but definitely electric energy, loaders, capacity, some tool belts, some character inventory slots. It's just a lot of great things that we have on uh, at the green level. Also near inserters and long inserters too. Excellent. So this is our, this down here will be our science location. This one we need to highlight. Got it. 
Okay, so this wasn't so bad now that we just build it in a really close structured way. And all right, if you guys look the other way, see this one, there's another way of making solder. It's more advanced, but it's it's a better one, but it's not something we can do at this point. So there's no point in, in trying to make it, at the, it, but it's nice to know that there's a better way. Look the other way and I'll start. I'll take the crafting speed update. Okay, so review of the base. We have production coming in here. Uh, the copper is actually the stuff that we're missing the most because we have been focusing so heavily on uh, yeah, we focus so heavily on our on our electronics now to so get that up and running. You can also see now here it gives up to full. Once these belts are saturated, these are saturated. This one becomes saturated as well. Once that happens, it'll it'll be fine. And I'm just producing a lot of other things. You can see I have a decent amount of everything else here. And also iron is pretty good. Actually, it's almost filling up the whole thing. And what uh, over here, you can see this one is uh, kind of becoming a problem, but that's uh, something we're going to deal with. You can see this pathetic little science facility is obviously the next thing that we need to upgrade. So we're going to do that next time. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let's zoom up here to what we built this time. We built the solder and basic electronic boards. Really, really good milestone, the basic electronic boards, because it enables a lot of other things. Okay, time to wrap up. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you find it educational and entertaining. And if so, be sure to leave a like. If there's something you don't understand, would like to know more about, you're, you can leave a comment below. And I hope to see you in the next episode. So thank you. Bye.